What's up guys, welcome back to Sneak Attack, and today we got a discussion video of the Nike Jordan brand Dornbecker event. Alright guys, so if you're a sneakerhead, this weekend you probably knew that Nike and Jordan brand had their Dornbecker event that they do every year. If you don't know what Dornbecker is, what it is, it's a children's hospital, and Nike and Jordan, basically they get these kids and then they design their own shoe. And it's not just Jordans, they do like a lot of other like Air Max shoes and Janoski shoes. And then basically they have this big event and they raise a lot of money and awareness for the Dornbecker Children's Hospital. And it's a really good cause. And also the shoes are really, really dope and they're designed by kids. And there's a lot of these cool little details that they put into the shoes. It's a real cool thing that Nike and Jordan does. This year they just had the event and there was a lot of shoes that were there that are pretty dope. I want to talk about two of them that are probably getting the most buzz and they're actually my two favorite ones from the event. But one of the shoes that I want to talk about is the Kyrie 2 Dornbecker. This shoe was designed by Andy Grass. It has a red, blue, and black colorway on it. It's a really dope looking Kyrie 2. If you look on the strap, it says strong. And actually on that, there's a UV sensitive material on it. So when like you're outside, uh, you shine that on there, it'll change from white to blue. It's a really cool detail. The bottom of the strap, it says love mom. The signed pair of shoes was auctioned at the Dornbecker event this weekend and it went for $33,000. It's like 33 pairs of Yeezys. All the money from these auctions go to the Dornbecker Children's Hospital. So it's all for a really good cause and it's a really dope shoe. Moving on to the next shoe, which is my favorite. It is the Jordan 7 Dornbecker. This shoe is a red and black colorway. It's a really, really dope looking design if you're looking at it just from a design point and it also has a lot of cool details on it. It was designed by a kid named Damien Phillips and he said that the design was based off of Deadpool, which is really cool for anyone who's like a Marvel fan. I already thought it was cool when I saw it, but then he said it was designed off Deadpool and I thought it was even cooler now. There's also a graphic on the bottom of him playing a guitar. There's real cool things on the Dornbecker models like that. Even if it wasn't a Dornbecker, I'd still like it a lot. The colorway and design of it is really, really sick. There was also a second design because the story behind it was that he designed two shoes. They were only allowed to do one. So they went with the red and black one. They ended up making the second pair, which is a mostly black and gold colorway. And it's really, really dope. There's only one of two. Obviously they gave one of them to Damien Phillips and they auctioned out the other one with the signed normal pair that was signed by Michael Jordan. They went for $46,000. That's insane that a pair of shoes would go for that much. But in this case, it's really good because it all goes to a really good cause. Anyways guys, I'm gonna throw up some pictures of the other Dornbecker shoes that are from the event. Obviously, I think they're all really cool just because of the story and how the kids get to design them. The two that I talked about were my favorite. Go ahead and leave a comment on what your favorite was. I'll make sure to try to respond to all of them. The Dornbecker lines are always really cool and on a sneakerhead point of view, pretty exclusive. They always get hyped up. It's really cool that they're designed by kids and then it raises awareness for the children's hospital. It raises money for the children's hospital. At the end of the day, all these designs are really, really cool just based on like how they look. So that's really awesome. Anyways guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that video. Go ahead and leave a comment on what you think about the Dornbreaker shoes. Tell me what you think about them selling for those crazy amounts of money. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We got a lot of big things coming. We're really excited about the upcoming videos we're gonna have for this channel. Make sure you leave a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. And don't forget guys, this is Sneak Attack. We upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't wanna miss out. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys later. All right guys, I forgot to tell you guys that the sneakers will be dropping on the sneakers app on December 17th. So make sure you get the sneakers app if you want to cop any of the Dornbecker collection, December 17th, sneakers app. All right guys, see you later.